everyone. I am Kristen Avalos with KristenAvalos.com, transformational coach. And I am here with you on our Libra full moon, which takes place on March 31st. It is another blue moon, meaning it's the second full moon of the month, which we have been having those quite a lot. This has been a very lunar start of the year um, for 2018. And so lots of emotions, lots of things to work through. Um, so I will jump right into our reading. I am using Colette Baron Reed's The Enchanted Map deck. And I've pulled three cards for us. So the first card that I pulled is Mountain in Protection Mode. And Mountain in Protection Mode is really letting us know that we need to take a pause and just assess where we are, stop trying to push, stop trying to do something that um, is difficult. Usually if it's difficult, then we're not in the flow. It's probably not the right time for it. It might not be the exact right thing. You might not have all the information that you need. And I will just say that Mercury is retrograde during this full moon. It will be turning direct later in April. And so Mercury retrograde is pretty much this card um, to a T. It's, it's really reminding us that there are points that we need to just stop for a moment and pause and, and just take time to reflect. Sometimes the best information can come to us when we're, when we're in that contemplation mode, when we're outside, we're just letting, you know, feeling the, the sun on us, uh, enjoying nature, taking that time to really breathe. We're getting those creative insights that are coming to us. So mountain and protection is really telling us make use of this mercury retrograde. Once it goes direct in April around the new moon time, we might have information that we didn't have at this point that could really help propel us and do it in a way that's much easier, much more effective, much more efficient. So the second card that I pulled was Peaks of Joy, also in protection mode. And so something that sometimes can happen is we, we get our sights set on a specific goal, a specific relationship, a specific job, and we put that um, goal sort of on a, on a pedestal and everything in our life revolves around that. And so we spend so much time trying to get to that, to that point and we forget about the steps that it takes to get there. So this card is really reminding us that if we're always trying to reach that something and we don't take time along the way to reflect, to just appreciate the ride, to, to smell the roses, then we can get to that point and it can feel empty. And so it's kind of in um, the tapping into wealth work that I do, it's what we call always striving, never arriving. And so you're constantly beating yourself up to get to a certain point and, and feeling less than without having that thing that you forget to enjoy the steps along the way. So peaks of joy and protection mode is really telling us, enjoy this time to pause. It really allow yourself to feel good and just knowing that everything is being taken care of behind the scenes and you don't have to be the one to do everything. So stop and celebrate the fact that you are taking steps each day to get to where you want to go and allow yourself to just enjoy that and take time for yourself. Enjoy having a cup of coffee in the morning. Enjoy spending time with your pet during the day or your, your kids or your family on the weekend when you have time. Really allow yourself to appreciate every moment and that makes the end goal seem like it's worth it. And so the final card that I pulled is Wizard of Awareness. And so the Wizard of Awareness card is telling us to really 
step back and observe things. Be a neutral observer in your life. And so a great thing to do is take time and just free journal and then go back and read what you wrote and really allow yourself to look at it from this place of, I am going to just look at what's happening and know that these are natural things. It's natural to feel happy and then sad. It's really part of the process to feel excited about something and then feel disappointed about it. And just allow yourself to observe that this is kind of a flow that happens and you always can kind of go up and down. But as a wizard of awareness, you're looking at things as this is just, this is a dance. This is all part of the process. And to get somewhere, you have to go through every step of the way. And so, yeah, really just allow yourself, enjoy the process and be okay knowing that you don't have to do anything and beneath and under the surface, miracles can still happen. So I hope this was helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want the latest um, oracle readings, usually done at the new moon and the full moon. And I will see you next month for our new moon in Aries. Thank you. Bye.